Hello, I am going to do a little demonstration now of something I learned a few days ago, which is how to use the MIDI send function from your Thera Mini to control another device. In this case, on screen here, I've got a app called the Moog Model 15, which is a rather nice little app you can download from Moog. I'm not sure how much it costs. I've managed to get this free on uh, Bob's birthday uh, celebration, and you can hear there nice now and you can play it either click in here or keys on your keyboard so what I'm going to do is on the theremini which is switched on at the moment I'm going to quickly go through by pressing setup and scale gets me into the setup menu if you hold setup you can actually quickly zip through the menu options and then when I get here to MIDI CV setup, press effect. And what I'm going to do, and I've already done it here, but you can do this, you can step through these, is on the pitch antenna, I've got the CC set to number 23, I've got the channel set to number 1, and I've got the volume antenna set to CC 22, also on channel 1. So we'll come out of those menus. And we're back to it. Now I'm not using any audio out of this at all. What I have done is I've connected a USB cable to the Thera Mini to the iMac in front of me. So how do we then get the Moog app to receive that information? I go to settings, I go to MIDI and you can see here already it's detected the Moog Thera Mini. And then I go to map CCs. Now the theremini doesn't send note information, but it does send various control signals digitally down that cable. And you can assign the volume antenna or the pitch antenna to a control on the synth. So if we go to map CCs, and what I've already done here, you can see here that the volume control is mapped to CC22, and this slide control is mapped to CC23 and the way you do that if I just clear this I'll show you very quickly you see here all these circles with the little dots you can click on one of those type in a number or you can actually put your hand by the antenna and it should detect it but I prefer to type it in so if I click on that type in 22 set click on this one type in 23 set Come out of there now what you can do on here you can press this hold button and this arpeggiator button and we can get a very very nice little thing going on what i can do i'm now controlling the volume and i'll just turn that so you can see it And then this slide control. And that is how you connect your Theramini to a MIDI device. And in this case, it's a computer with an app.